Hello, thanks for joining me today for another video unboxing for you now have the Assassin's Creed Origins Gods Edition. Now this one does include the Deluxe Edition with some DLC content, not the Gold Edition with the Season Pass, that's with the Dawn of the Creed Edition, I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And this one also includes a different statue, which is why I opted to uh, buy both, because I love my Assassin's Creed collectibles. So, so let's get this one, and the packaging is very different in its own style. A bit crafty Ubisoft to do two different collector's editions of two different statues. Well, I did three, actually, if you consider the one that's like six, seven hundred pound, which obviously I did not get. So, this one includes <clears throat> the Bayek, the Bayek on Semet Goddess statue with a height of about 26 centimeters. There's uh, also got like a mini art book, you got the uh, soundtrack, you got a map, allegedly a hand drawn map of Egypt, but I don't know. And the digital deluxe content includes a, an additional mission, Secrets of the First Pyramids. As well as uh, another exclusive mission and the some weapons, some main gear and an eight fit and whatnot. Can't quite read that small writing, but I'll still have a close inspection when we open this packaging up. Let's put through a mandatory cellar tape. Uh... Okay, yeah. So we've got a sleeve under the box to take off another box lid thing. Plunk you there. Yeah. Same as basically the same artwork as what's on the sleeve. So now we lift this up. Let's go use the ones that fall open. No. Nothing on the inside, no magic rabbit or anything. So we go, there's the uh, statue figurine. There you are, this is a drawer, which is going to be the game and other bits and bobs. So, there we go. It's a standard edition game. The DLC is separate, obviously. Let's just open it up, just to see. Make sure I'm not missing out. So what, what collector's edition was it? I opened up and the uh, contents were actually on the inside. Alright, so just to tell you to how to change the various languages in the game. More languages are better. And here we go. Here's the uh, extra contents. So we get the Roman Centurion pack. Which gives us a uh, Roman Centurion costume. And also a main two shield two weapons and a shield obviously as well as a main and there's a Horus pack as well unlock the eighth of Egyptian sky god Horus and with that one you get uh, some bows a horse pack a main and a shield an exclusive weapon available day one and 500 helix credits which is the in-game currency what am I doing no that's a season pass content I was thinking that seems a bit generous also included in the season pass. Okay, more bad. There's the uh, manual. You can really call it that nowadays. There's the uh, soundtrack in its physical form, which is always great. Not none of this digital soundtrack malarkey. We've got 15 tracks in that one, so it's a quite a generous helping. Now this is the content we get of this one. So what did I misread on here? Oh yeah, so yeah, we, we get none of that, so ignore what I said there, that's in the season pass content. But this one, we get the secrets of the first pyramid. It's an exclusive mission, I think you get with most copies of the game. And this is the digital deluxe contents. And we've got an exclusive mission, Ambush and the Sea, as well as the Desert Cobra 8 fit and mount with a legendary gear set and three ability points. Excuse 
nothing. Not going to camera. Nothing on the inside. Plonk you there. This is the big map of the game, and it's huge. So I won't open that up because of a pain in the ass to put back in. But it's a, it's not a thin paper. It's quite a I wouldn't say plasticky, but it's got a very smooth feel to it. It's quite thick as well, so shouldn't tear too easy. And the, map, the level, the map is huge on this. And from right here, it's got no loading screens other than when you load up like, for missions and whatnot. And this is a mini art book. I'll be very careful with this one not to reveal any spoilers for myself and for you. Okay, so we've got at least 58 pages. Let's see where, where we uh, begin our adventure in the game. Let's see, of ancient order, Alexandria, Noyle. How many pages we've got in this? Did it tell us? No, but let's go. There's at least 58 pages, around about 60, so it's a decent size mini art book. You can obviously get the full art book. Available at most um, book retailers and whatnot, so you might want to pick that up if you want. And that, that concludes that content, so let's have a look at the statue. Also, big props to the actual base it's in there. We've got some awesome artwork there, so it's also made for a brilliant display stand as well. A lot of extra detail that's gone in there. And once more, cut through the mandatory sellotape. So here we go, here's a Bayek figurine. Very awesome, very good quality I have to say. Certainly doesn't feel any less, paying less for this edition, which if you get from the Ubisoft website and redeem some Uplay points, you can get this for about 70 quid as opposed to 80 quid. I love the detail in his eyes. You can often find with some figurines that the eyes can be botched. That's certainly not the case here. Really good quality. Really happy about that. That's Blonky there. So that, my friends, concludes this video unboxing. And what else do we get? Oh, yeah, we get the secrets of the first mission pyramids. Quick recap. The digital deluxe content with an extra mission and some other cosmetics. A big ass map. And a mini art book. And once I drop it on the floor, same track in its physical form. Oh yeah, and being a pleb that I am, when I said it seems like he should be holding something in his hand, I actually found this uh, line on the floor, his blade. So yeah. That's why it looked like he should be holding something, because he should be holding his blade. What a pleb that I am. So, anyway, with that said, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't done already. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Solid Snake, for Sam's YouTube username. So until next time, thanks for watching, and peace out.